All right, guys, what's going on? It's your boy Dippin' Down South here, and I've already got to dip in because uh, I've already recorded this video. But, seeing as how I don't have a camera, my phone's a piece of shit, and it done something to the footage and said it didn't record it or whatever. But, besides that, I'm going to go ahead and just straight up jump into today's video. I'm not going to ramble on, not going to do all the bullshit that I always do, what I'm doing right now. Anyways, so the topic of today's video. Five things I personally hate about working on cars. Slash being a mechanic, whatever you want to call it. Uh, with the top number one thing being rust. Now, you take a job that's already a pain in the ass. And, uh, you add rust to it? What does that give you? A rusty pain in the ass. And, uh, folks, just let me go ahead and tell you, a rusty pain in the ass is about 110 times more of a pain in the ass than just a pain in the ass. <clears throat> For example, what if you walk under a car, it's on a lift, and you need to change the exhaust, or you want to put an aftermarket one on, or whatever the job may be. You gotta get that rusted bitch out, because nine times out of ten, the exhaust is gonna be rusted unless the car is damn near new. And it's not just that it's rusted, hard to break loose. No. Because you got breaker bars, you got all kinds of shit to break shit loose with. But, it's rust. So, what you do is, you know, you get your wrench, and then you just fucking put it on there and go for it. I'm a big guy, I got some strength behind me. And there's still bolts I can't get loose. Uh, so, if you can't break it loose, and you're just like, fuck this car, I want to throw it in the garbage. You can't, because it's not your car, and the work has to be done. So you run all the way across the damn garage, you get your torch, you light your torch, and you heat the bolt up. Think about what I just said. You're applying heat to the bolt. So now that brings in a whole new issue. Now the shit's hot. Real hot. What happens if you touch the motherfucker? It's going to burn the piss out of you, and you're going to hate yourself. But besides that, so what happens if you heat it up? You go to break it loose, and you think it breaks loose, but you look up there, and all that broke loose was the head broke off the bolt. Well, now you got to go get your drill, because you got to drill it out. And it's just a long-ass, drawn-out process of bullshit that rust causes. It's really aggravating, just to be completely honest with you. Rust is just a bitch. So the top number one thing that I absolutely cannot stand about working on vehicles is rust. There's no getting around it, but rust. Alright, so for number two, let's see, what would number two be? The weather, man. Like, come on. I live in Georgia. I work in Georgia. Like, I do, you know, stuff on cars in Georgia. So, uh, just imagine, dead-ass middle of summer, all four bays are full, you got engines tore down, there's no bringing the cars out. Or you can work on something in shape. So you're like, fuck it, we'll do it out here in the parking lot. Okay. Yeah. Get all your tools out there. You're working right along. All of a sudden, you're like, shit, it's hot. And you realize you're standing out in the middle of 105 degree weather. 100, 105 degree weather. Under a metal hood, baking your damn brains out like a brownie. And you're like, well, it could be worse. Then you reach over and you go to grab that nice little metal handy ratchet that's been laying over there in the sun just cooking. When you grab a hold of it, it feels like you grab Satan by his ball sack. So the heat. That's the heat. And then, you got the rain. Alright, same damn thing. Four bays, four cars tore down, no moving them out. So what do you do? Not a damn thing you can do. You ain't gonna work in a pouring ass thunder rain. So you sit there, which is time wasted, which is money wasted, which is hours wasted. <clears throat> and then, when it decides to stop raining, what do you do? You go out there, you're soaked ass car, soaked ass ground, soaked ass everything. And then you got the cold. Which the cold's going to lead into our third point. But the cold, it's freezing as fuck. You got to wear more layers, which restricts your movement, which is aggravating when you're working on something. So you get out there, you're going to do it, you're like, fuck it. I gotta do this. You get outside, you're working on a car, and all of a sudden you get to a bolt you can't break loose. You're like, alright, let's put some strength behind it. Well, you put some strength behind it, and just so happens somebody had tightened that bolt up before, they just barely stripped it where you can't tell or see it. 
and that wrench slips. When that wrench slips, you Hadouken punch the shit out of something that just so happens to be metal. Well then what, your hands is freezing ass cold, the metal's freezing ass cold, you're bleeding, your hand feels like it's a fucking solid piece of ice that somebody's chipped at with a damn chisel. No good. So weather, number two, sucks ass. Rust, number one, sucks ass. That's the first two. Number three. Let me just tell you. Number three. Trying to find an empty oil slash drain pan anywhere around where you work on vehicles is fucking impossible. It's guaranteed every single time you go to look for something like that, they're either full or being used. If they're full, you gotta go empty them. And you're not just gonna empty one of them because that makes no sense. You gotta go empty all of them. And that just takes time and that takes, it's just retarded. Would you fucking retarded? Just takes so much time. It just irritates. Not really a black or bad. It's just fucking irritating. So you get all that done. You get shit drained out. So drain pans. They're just fucking. Sh yeah. Why do they exist? I'll just dump it on the ground. Fuck earth. <laughs> I'm just fucking with you. Uh, but anyways, yeah, drain pans. They're irritating. So we got drain pans. We got the fucking stupid weather and oof, rust. Anyways, so number four. I'm gonna change number four. Number four, the tool man. Anywhere where you work on the cars, that little red and white truck is gone to find you. You know what I'm talking about if you ever worked on the car in a shop. The snap on man. He will find you. He will make it seem like, oh, it's just a little money. Payments here, payments there. Pay me on Fridays, cool. Take what you need, man. Now, he's not telling you. What you're doing is you're racking up a bill, man. You get that payment on Friday, 50 bucks a week. Nah, it's not too bad, you think. Well, then you need something else. You're going, oh, now it's 60 bucks a week. Man, it's still not too bad. Three weeks later, you're at a $150 payment a week with a $20,000 tab, and you're just looking around like, who fucked me? Where did I go wrong? You could have at least used some lube, man. You could have at least used some lube. They're so persistent, and you can't tell they're persistent. They're so nice. Oh, man, you should check this tool out. Here, use it. Works good, don't it? I got it for fifty nine ninety nine, hundred and fifty nine ninety nine. Take it, we'll put it on your tab. It ain't no thing. You ain't gotta pay for it right now. So nice. Don't don't seem persistent, but they are. They don't seem like they're, you know, bending you over, but they really are. That tool truck will get you. That's number four, tool truck. Mr. Matt Cohen snap on man, they'll get you every time. And then you got number five, which is just downright just fucking uh, it sucks, man. You bought all these tools from the Snap-on Man, the Matco Man, the other man, whoever all fucking comes by to drive you nuts about buying tools. Bought all these tools. You need a 10 millimeter socket to take a bolt out. Which, if you just in case you did not know, a 10 millimeter socket is going fucking in extinct. I guarantee you, somebody just lost five 10 millimeters. I guarantee it. Wrench, socket, fucking, they just lost them. Ten of them was just lost. There goes ten more. They're going fucking extinct. So this big old snap-on set you bought for two hundred dollars of sockets, ten millimeter. You go over there to grab your ten millimeter. Guess what? It's fucking gone. Where'd I put my ten millimeter? Well, I put it back where it was. It's not there now. So you go hunting for it. Twenty minutes goes by. You're not getting nothing done. Thirty minutes goes by. You find your eleven, twelve, and your nine. Forty-five minutes go by. You find your fucking ratchet. An hour and a half goes by. Damn, is that a 10? Yes, it is. You look at it and what's it? What is it? What is it? The fucking socket's cracked. Well, now what? Now you gotta go fucking talk to that snap-on man again. That gets you, man. So, number five. Tools. Can't find fucking tools. That shit's irritating. Drives me nuts. Makes me want to punch a baby. Not really. That was a joke. Don't take that. Not, yeah. So, you yeah. got... Number one being rust. Fuck rust. Rust can go rot, rust in hell. Fucking rusty, rust piece of shit. Two, the weather. Fuck the weather, man. God, why can't there be a perfect season? And then you got number three. What was number three? Uh, that'd be drain buckets. That's just fucking irritating. Number four. Oh, the tool truck. Number five. Finding you tools. That just mysteriously go poof. 
That went 15 more tens. It's ridiculous, man. Like, all of a sudden, you, 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 you'll you take one day, you're like, fuck this, I'm done with it, I'm tired of hunting tools, I'm gonna pick all my shit up, put it up. The next day, everything's scattered again. It doesn't matter how hard you try, it's a fighting battle. I mean, it's a losing battle. You can fight your heart out. Still gonna lose. So that's my top five things that I cannot absolutely fucking stand about working on cars. And besides that note, I want to talk to you guys about how the videos are doing. And I realize I've not been doing the best at uploading. I understand that. I apologize. There's a video about that too. If you haven't seen it, go watch it. But I apologize. Uh, I just want to take a second to say thank you to everybody. The last video I put up has got like 47 likes, I think. And that's fucking insane. To me, anyways. Like anybody else, be like, oh, it's just 47 likes. It's got 47 likes, 200 some odd views, which is absolutely ridiculous considering I hadn't uploaded and fucking like uploaded a legit video in forever, which it still wasn't a legit video. It was me rambling on, giving excuses about how I don't do this and don't, yeah, whatever, you understand. I consider this right here to be a legit video and like all the other cool stuff I do to be a legit video. But the problem with me putting up legit videos is my car's broke the fuck down still. It's still sitting up there and being bullshitting around. Don't have a car. My girlfriend's car is taken during the day now because her mom has to use it. Uh, I broke my foot so I'm not working right now which is no cash flow which is fucking ridiculous. And it's just, I don't know, man. The ideas are hard to come up with. Like, I could have a great idea, but fuck, I, damn, there, I need a car to go do it. It's just like a never-ending rolling mountain of shit rocks. I'm just running down on Mr. Old Dipping Down South. It's fucking ridiculous, man. This YouTube shit's not as easy as it looks. Kind of hard to be honest with you. Uh, not really hard, per se. It's just tedious. It's a better word for it. But I do appreciate each and every one of you for sticking around. The live streams are doing better. People are starting to get in there more. Uh, we've now got a Facebook page, if you didn't know, at Dipping Down South on Facebook. You can message me on there. I message a lot of people back. I've been thinking about doing a subscriber meetup, but I'm not sure, one, one if anybody wants to fucking meet me, uh, two, if anybody would show the fuck up, or three, where the hell it would happen. I, don't, mm -hmm. I do know this. It would be in Somerville, Georgia. So if you let me know how many of y'all would show up to a Dippin' Down South meetup in Somerville, Georgia, maybe with a Grizzly Dippin' if he can if he could make it, but a Dippin' Down South meetup in Georgia, drop a comment and leave a like and let me know if you could like if you would make it or if you would even want to fucking meet me. Like I'm not nobody. I'm just just fat dude on YouTube talking about dip and other shit. And also, like, if you got something you want to see in a YouTube video or see done or something like that, just drop a comment. And if I don't, like, no, don't drop a comment. Go to the Facebook page and message me because I'll definitely see it there. Like, these comments are starting to get nuts. A lot more people are commenting now. So it's getting kind of harder to keep up with. But, uh, like I said, guys, my top five, rust, weather, uh, drain pans, tool truck, and fucking tools. That's the top five things I hate about working on cars. It's small shit, but trust me, when you're doing it, it fucking means a lot. That's been the video. I figured I'd jump on here, upload a video for you guys, because I haven't done one in like a, probably about a week now. And you deserve it. Appreciate all your love. Thank you for the likes, subs, and all that shit. It's been your boy, Dippin' Down South. And the like go for today, 35 likes. I'd like to see 35 likes on this video. That'd be dope. But like I said, uh, appreciate all of you. Sorry I didn't get to pack a dip with you. My phone fucked the footage up. This whole video has already been done. But yeah. Uh, spinning your boy, dipping down south. Keep dipping your dip, keep spitting your spitting. We'll see you guys later, buddies.